This is KNEV.TV weather from the Arby's Weather Center. Arby's, we have the meats. Going to be dealing with a pretty pleasant evening, just a slight chance of a shower around. Otherwise, we're going to go into the 80s, then down into the 70s. Not going to cool off a whole bunch, maybe a little more than we did this morning as temps really struggled to fall below 70 in many areas early this morning. That humidity and moisture left around. So an isolated thunderstorm, not out of the question tonight. Better chances of rain come Friday and especially Saturday. Hope we can get some near then because it looks mainly dry next week with temps near or above normal. Yesterday, well, we have uh, don't have anything filling in here. Having a couple of computer issues. We hit 99 degrees yesterday for our high, and these are probably going to be blank as well, and we will come check those out here in just a moment. Uh, nothing uh, really, just a trace here in the rain gauge. 90 yesterday, or right now, this is current temperatures, 90 in Scotts Bluff, 83 in Laramie, 91 in McCook, Norfolk checks in at 81, and it looks like temperatures are going to be in the upper 80s to low 90s here across the region. Winds are still out of the east, uh, southeast primarily, some northeasterly winds off in the northern panhandle. Severe weather threat confined to our north and east away from us. We have no real major chances of thunderstorms today in terms of severe weather. That increases a little bit tomorrow right here across our region. A marginal risk of severe storms for tomorrow. Gusty winds going to be something we're going to keep an eye on and some heavy rain. Same situation on Saturday. I think this is going to get drug a little further to the south. Saturday looks like an increased day of showers and thunderstorms for us as well. So future cast for tonight, not uh, that's not happening tonight. We have clear skies out there, uh, light winds, not much going on, temperatures falling only into the 60s for lows overnight tonight, uh, low to mid 60s for most of us. So not a bad, uh, not too bad of a night out there anyway. Then tomorrow we start the day with sunshine, partly cloudy skies throughout the afternoon. We'll start to build up a few clouds. Can't rule out a couple of showers and storms moving across the region late tomorrow into tomorrow night, uh, and then they will move on off to the east and skies will clear out. Not everybody going to get some moisture, but if you do, it could be some uh, heavy rainfall out of that and some gusty winds. 94 tomorrow in Ogallala for a high, 95 in Oshkosh Alliance checks in at 92. Rainfall totals are going to be fairly light. Notice uh, the models picking up on some more concentrated rain here from Ogallala up through Mullen and a few patch, uh, patchy areas uh, that just wanted to dump out over an inch of rain in some of those areas. So if you get under a thunderstorm, uh, you could get some brief heavy rain out of them. Tonight, partly cloudy skies, 63 for a low. Rain chances are pretty slim. Tomorrow, about a 30% chance of isolated late day storms. Highs in the mid 90s. We're going to be a touch cooler for Saturday with highs in the upper 80s with some late day thunderstorms. Sunday looks really nice. Sunny skies near 90. We'll be back into the low 90s for the early portions of next week through the middle to end of next week. No real changes in sight. Highs in the mid and upper night or low to mid 90s. Low temperatures at night in the low 60s with very little chance of precip for the next seven days after we get through today or uh, tomorrow rather and Saturday.